Hey, No Nonsense No Owl here, KZ Guy 2, working on a 2014 Mitsubishi Outlander with a 2.0 liter in it. I've got two codes here. The uh, PO11 for intake camshaft position timing over advanced, and also same code but for the exhaust camshaft position timing. So, <clears throat> not going to go into a ton of detail. Um, 100,000 miles on this car. Most common you know, cause of this, this code is uh, obviously these, these camshaft timing actuators. You got one here on the intake side and one on the back side here. But usually what the problem is, is sludge buildup, the wrong weight oil. We can see this one takes zero W20. Uh, a lot of times people put 530 in there, just throw it in there and, you know, uh, and also low oil. So. Let's go ahead and check the oil level first in this. Uh, we're about halfway on the dip and it's pretty dirty looking. So I'm gonna definitely suggest uh, doing an oil, cha oil change for one because we don't know who last did it on this car and uh, we don't know if they put the right weight in there. Also, pop your cap off here and you can see um, another common problem is, you know, short trip driving. You get condensation build up inside and get that milky oil up in the top ends of these engines and then sludge build up as well. So you can only imagine what this thing looks like under this valve cover if you pop that off. So anyway, jumping around here, but that being said, sludge build up, milky oil, all that tends to clog up these these actuators. So to pop these out, each one's held on by a 10 millimeter bolt like that. 10 millimeter head, six by one threads. So then you can pop this connector off by squeezing there on that one, on this front. And before even trying to take these out, spray this, try to get some rust penetrant on the back side of that to lubricate the O-ring. Do that on both of them. That's gonna get in there and really assist getting these out. So without breaking this plastic, gently put on here and get this thing wiggling back and forth like that. Let that lubricant work its way in. And then do not break this plastic. Uh, don't use pliers if you don't know what you're doing, but go ahead and slide that out like so. You can also get a screwdriver from behind very gently and put a little pry action on the back if you need to when twisting it. Uh, but then once you get that out, Let's see what this looks like. You see that's real carboned up. So, you know, this is an actuator, a solenoid, and, you know, this plunger goes back and forth. So, essentially, you know, get, get stuck in the over-advanced position. So, anyway, I'm not going to carry this on very long, much longer, but you got two options. Replace these things, clean out that sludge, and, and you know, spray out these ports and such. Or just clean this off, uh, you know, with some carb cleaner and that's what I'm going to do. Clean this all up and put this back in. I'm going to spray that hole out and all that. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the back side. And just to show you how this thing actually works, how they get it cleaned up, when you apply 12 volts to it, you can see that plunger goes back and forth just like that. So you can see you get some sludge in there it could cause that to stick. Just using a uh, power probe here to do that. Also, when I clean this thing up, this this groove right here was completely packed with sludge. I didn't even realize it had a groove there. So I had a little wire brush, clean that up, um, you know, clean this up pretty good. So probably gonna hit it again, but uh, just use some carb cleaner, a wire brush, and sprayed it out with an air nozzle. Anyway, so do that to both of them. If you're still having problems, like I said, clean out these, these ports as well. If you're still having problems though, replace these things. I'll try to find a link, like I said. All cleaned up, ready to install. Make sure to take some oil, motor oil, and put a little bit on that O-ring before putting this in. And just make sure, don't tighten this bolt down until you have this thing fully seated in there. So go ahead and, you know, I cleaned out that port as well, like I said, sprayed that out and blew it out. Um, make sure when you're putting this in though, you wanna roll it back and forth until you feel it fully seat. Then stick your bolt in, tighten it down. Simple enough, do the same thing on the other side, no problem, all right? And hopefully you find this helpful. I tried to keep it uh, short, you know, to the point. So give me a thumbs up if it does. Definitely appreciate that. And consider subscribing. Until next time, no nonsense, no how, and y'all have a good day.